Welcome to the Slotlight Infinity overview video. In the next couple of minutes, we will explain you in detail all the product range of the new Slotlight Infinity family. First of all, let's talk about the different channels. In the range, we have the recess channel, you know already from the installation video. We have a surface mounted suspender channel, fully powder coated, and we have a brand new technical channel. On the other side, we have a tunable white and a wall washer high output channel. Now I will tell you when you have to use which one. The recessed version obviously goes only into plasterboard. You have to use the plastering frames and here you go. The suspended and surface mounted version, you either use tecton springs or any other suspension. It comes in a very new design. Everything else from terms of functionality stays the same. What is brand new in the range is the technical channel. The technical channel has a 12 mm rim on all sides, is fully powder coated in white and it goes mainly in modular ceilings. But you can also use it in plasterboard, for example, instead of a frame version like you use it with slot 2 today. What do they have in common is that the LED driver, as you can see here, is already in the channel. Also the through wiring and also the mechanical connection for continuous run systems is already in there. This is mainly the difference when it comes to tunable white and the wall washer high output. There is no driver in the channel. There is a different technology behind and we have to put the LED driver on the baton. So please take care when you plan recessed, surface mounted suspender, technical as a standard version and tunable white and wall washer high output. Please use the different channels like explained. For the installation of the technical channel, it is very important to use the leveling set. The leveling set is mounted from the back of the channel and you use the slotted disc, same as for the recessed version, and then you can install it because the flanges are side by side. Then just turn with a screwdriver from the bottom and you turn it to the right direction. And everything is leveled in to your desired height. In the Slotlight Infinity range, there are three different patterns. First of all, the standard pattern. As explained before, there is no LED driver on the baton. You just find the LED modules and the protection. For sure, there is also the plug to enable a very smooth and easy plug and play mounting. The second pattern looks on the first view very similar. Also no LED driver, but the protection is a little bit different. Why? Because this is necessary for the wall washer version. We have the reflector, which can be snapped in very easy and smoothly. For sure, we also have the plug on the back side to enable in every kind of channel an easy installation. We do have a third pattern. On this pattern, like I said before in the channel overview, we have the LED driver on it and also a loose plug. The installation is a little bit different, but only for tunable white and the wall washer high output version. You just take the plug, put it in and connect the baton with the channel. In the Slotlight Infinity range, we offer four different optics. The very nice thing is that we can use every optic in every channel. So don't worry about how to use it and when. Start with the Opal optic. It's the very common one, diffuse, and it appears in a very soft light distribution. You know it from all the applications of today. Second, we have the Office optic. What is the main difference here? It's a transparent PC optic and we have two different foils in it on top of it. One foil is to diffuse the light dots very, very uniform and the other foil gives us the opportunity to be glare free. So UGR below 19 and at 65 degrees lower than 3000 candela per square meter is possible. 
The third optic is necessary for the wall washer version. It's a little bit less diffuse than the open version. And the final optic is the so-called blind uh, optic. So if you decide you don't want to equip all of the channels which are already installed, you can just use it as a blind optic and maybe in a later point you just remove it and equip the channel with the LED pattern. So you're future proof in any way. As you have seen in the step before, the installation of the LED pattern is very easy, plug and play. The springs on the pattern hold the LED pattern into position. Normally you install it in the ceiling and if you lose the springs, they come down very easy. But losing it on the floor, on the desk is a little bit harder and therefore we have for both application something called a deinstallation kit. Just use it, go underneath the springs on both sides, lift it a little bit, and you removed the LED button. That's it. Especially for the surface mounted and the suspended lumina, it is very important to have IP40 all over. This means from the top and from the bottom. The standard version has IP20 from the top and IP40 from the bottom, so it's not all over IP40. So we have something called an IP40 kit. You just have to turn the luminaire, insert the IP40 kit, press it in, and you have created an IP40 all over. Let's talk about special configurations with Slot Infinity. Luckily, the recessed version, as well as the surface mounted suspended version, has corners, and so we can configure U shapes as well as rectangular ones. Unfortunately, the technical channel, as well as all wall washer applications, are not able to go around corners in standard. If you have this need, you have to contact our custom product department. This means also tunable white goes around corners and you can configure any kind of shape you want. There is one very important tool which comes into place. This is the uh, connector. You know this connector from the continuous run channels in which it is already installed. You can use it right away, but for this special kind of configurations like a U, you need one additional one and for our squared one, you need four additional ones. You just slide them in as you know it from the continuous run channels and you're ready to go for special configurations. And don't worry, we have a configurator which exactly configures you this kind of needs and will give you the perfect result for your special configuration. The PST set for Slot Infinity simply is a presence and daylight sensor. When you order the sensor, you get three pieces. You get the sensor with the installation kit itself, you get the cable fixing kit, and you get a small masking plate. How to mount it? It's very easy to mount. You just use this very small part, get rid of the wires, and press it in the baton. It doesn't really matter where you're going to mount it. You can mount it in the beginning, at the end, or in between of two buttons. You just need space to put the wires on the other side. To fix the wires on the back side, you have a small piece. You just click it in and you just put the wiring on the back. It's very important to have it very smooth on the back because you have to connect to the next terminal block which is available and it's driven by DALI. What is very important, you have two features coming with this tool, presence and daylight detection. If you want to have both features, you just install it like I showed before. If you say, okay, I just want to have one of the features, the presence detector, then 
you can get rid of the daylight detector and make the dark spot at the beginning or the end even more clear. So it's in a very, very smooth appearance. This is how you go, what you have to do. You just use the mask plate, cover it and then install it like showed before. Because the daylight sensor is driven by infrared, infrared doesn't go through this mask plate and therefore you only have the presence detection based on radar technology. The detection radius of this very nice tool is about 8 meters in a typical mounting height of 2.5 to 3.5 meters. There are three other accessories on top of the Slotlight Infinity range. First of all, there is the Slotlight Infinity pattern. The pattern is needed to cut the optic from the roll, the endless optic, like you have seen in the installation video. Therefore, for sure we also need a Slotlight Infinity knife to exactly cut this optic from the roll. And as a third accessory, you know the very famous paint roller or optic roller from the installation video which makes it possible to install light lines up to 20 meters within seconds just with this tool. So this is the product range from today's perspective. But already today we are working on innovative line extension of the product range of Slotlight Infinity.